Hey, this is Tommy Tellerico, video game composer and host of Video Games Live, the greatest concert ever in the world. And you're watching some show. No, you're watching some show. No, that's the name of it. It's called Some Show, and you're watching it right now, I think. Yes? Of course. Upon defeating Ares, Kratos, the once mortal warrior, finds himself on a journey to the ends of the Earth. Hi, we're here with Gerard Marino, and we're talking about Video Games Live. What is Video Games Live? Well, Video Games Live is a touring orchestral concert of video game music, which features uh, live playback and live action on stage and interactive elements, uh, basically bringing to life your favorite uh, video game scores, both uh, brand new games and classic games, including the first games. So, uh, so that's it, touring multimedia extravaganza. And you write uh, video game music yourself? Yes, I do. I do. I do uh, have a piece in the program tonight. The God of War segment is a small suite of themes that I wrote for that game. And, uh, yeah, I'm also writing the uh, music for the sequel, God of War 2, in production now. How far along are you with the music for God of War 2? Uh, I'd say we're well into the start of writing the music for it. You know, we've got a new main theme for the character. Uh, there's still some, and another, and there's a few themes that are hashed out. There's some music that we wrote uh, that's uh, in at the E3 demo, if you, any of you went to E3, there was a demo of God of War 2. We have new music in that. Uh, so, you know, we're really just getting rolling. We got a nice, even start, but we're really just getting rolling. Now, when you go to write music for a video game, do you look at storyboards or scripts, or do you just play the game? How do you get the ideas for the different music and stuff? Well, it's kind of different, you know. It's different for each company, different for each game. I can tell you about God of War that uh, there was, on God of War 1, uh, they were a little sort of early in the development when I came on, and I wound up working on that game for about a year. Uh, they were working on the game the whole time, and I only had uh, production stills, uh, artist renderings of the of the scenes and the characters, and uh, and words to go on and uh, direction. I got to see a little bit of gameplay down at the studio, but uh, it was really wireframe type stuff. The character was running in a wireframe. I, you know, it was uh, it was really rough rough stuff to go on initially but now you know I mean the game is established so now I'm looking at production stills and seeing seeing those rough things and it makes a lot more sense to me because the, it's kind of like the world is established how did you get your start in the video game music industry well really it was God of War uh, my first title turns out to be the juggernaut title of 2005 as a composer and it happened because uh, I uh, have a lot of music in a library a music library called Riptide Music and the guy who runs it Rich Goldman tight with the Sony guys. He knew that this game was coming online, God of War, that uh, they were looking for the sound, they were looking for the right sound, and he knew my music at that point. I'd had music in his library for uh, several years and had been licensed to several trailers, Terminator 3 and uh, Missing and uh, Chronicles of Riddick, etc. Really loud, in-your-face trailer type music, and that's kind of what God of War was going to need. So he introduced me to the Sony guys, I wrote some demos, they liked them, they hired me. A lot of me. Now, what kind of work did you do before video games music? I've been clawing my way up the Hollywood ladder, you know. I mean, I came out there to L.A. to be a film composer, a TV composer, and, uh, well, just anything composer, write music for a living. And uh, video games turned out to be the best thing for me to, to do. It just turned out to be uh, the perfect thing. Now, with uh, movies slash video games, what do you think is more challenging to do? I know video games, you have to be more interactive and you needs to be able to change more but what do you think the differences in composing music for one medium to another well it's really uh, there's so many things that are similar and so many things that are different to say one's harder than the other I'm not sure if you can say it it kind of depends on the team too the team that you're working with you know I worked on films that are a snap because the director and you are on the same page and maybe it's an indie it's usually an indie film I'm working on because those are the films I can land and, uh, and see one or two guys, you get on the same page, you can burn right through it. You know, I mean, working on a, on a big uh, AAA video game title like God of War at Sony, I mean, there's a lot of money on the line, so there's a lot of people really making sure that everything's exactly freaking right. So it's a lot more work. Uh, so in that sense, it's harder. But, you know, they've got the budget for recordings. Uh, they're allowing you to do the big brand music that you really want to do. Uh, that you can do in such a such a setting, you know, adventure fantasy, as opposed to the independent film worlds, where it's you know more of a 
intimate sort of thing, uh, character dramas, that sort of thing. Um, it's hard to say one's harder than the other. Uh, different set of challenges, you know. I, I'd say actually, video game music is a little bit more or less like writing music because you don't have to try to cram. Uh, you know, you write themes for characters. You don't have to try to cram a theme into a small section of film. Like, the main character is doing an important thing. You want to have his theme play in a film, you only have this much time. You know, the film starts here, it ends there. It's got to be done in that time. Sometimes it's hard to make that fit, getting the timing just right. You spend hours just getting the timing before you write the first note, writing a piece of music for film. Games, you want to play the theme? Play the theme. <laughs> now, um, say if somebody wants to be get into the industry and they want to write music for video games, say they're just getting out of high school, what would you suggest they do to prepare to try to get a job like yours? Well, uh, I'd say first prepare for a long period of sacrifice where you live in crappy apartments and drive crappy cars and don't get to go out and have fun because it requires a whole lot of money to be invested in gear because you have to be able to produce top-notch sounding stuff uh, electronically, orchestral sounding stuff. So just understand it's going to be really hard and, you have to, and it's going to require a lot of luck and it's going to require a lot of hard work. Understand that first. After that, uh, really, I think you should go to, go to school, study music composition, study orchestration, uh, get, a, get an undergrad at a reasonable college uh, with a decent music program, one that's going to give you some orchestra time. Uh, you'll, you'll be a better composer that way, there's no question about it. Um, you don't have to do that. Some of the most successful game and film composers have never done that. There's lots of people you can hire, but you got to make a name for yourself ahead of that. I think, um, I think you should do that. But then you got to move to an industry center, you know, somewhere where there's a lot of game companies making a lot of games. Uh, you know, L.A. is a good place. Bay Area is a good place. I think there's areas in Texas, San Diego. Uh, Orange County, California, uh, somewhere where there is a lot of game places. Intern if you can, game test if you can, find game composers. You can join the Game Audio Network Guild, which is a nationwide, I think it might even be worldwide um, organization of game audio people, composers and audio guys. We have meetings. We definitely meet at the conventions, the Game Developers Conference, which you should go to all the time, and the E3 Conference, which you should also try to go to. Um, Surround yourself with game audio people, ask a million questions, apprentice for them, assist for them, you know, sweep up their studios if you can, install their network software if you can, try to get a job with guys who are working, at least try to hang out with guys who are working. One important thing, though, that I always say, there's this thing at, uh, at the Game Developers Conference, the gang does, called the Demo Derby. It's where anybody can submit a demo of their music, and they have a lineup of, like, the top guys in the video game companies, the audio directors, the guys who make the decisions who does video games, lined up, they listen to it, they critique it in front of God and everybody, and it's, you know, sometimes it's kind of hard to take, but two people have gotten jobs out of the deal. People who are just out of the wilderness show up with this demo that blows everybody away, and they're like, dude, that's awesome, they get jobs, uh, sometimes big jobs, so uh, those, are, those are some things. <laughs> Now, you're working on God of, God of War 2. Now, is there anything you can tell us about the music for the sequel or anything that you're working on? Like, what kind of style? Are you changing the style at all? Well, we're, uh, we're trying to not completely reinvent the wheel. We're trying to push the style just a little bit in some different directions, just to, you know, to expand upon it. But, uh, but we do also want to maintain the integrity of, of what happened the first time because everybody liked it. It was very successful. Uh, critics liked it. The fans liked it. Um, we shouldn't completely do something completely different, I don't think. We, we are trying to push it a little bit. Uh, one thing we're doing is exploring higher registers in the orchestra. It was really a lot of low end, blah, blah, banging and stuff. Almost no woodwinds at all, almost no trumpets at all. We're kind of exploring those. Uh, there's going to be more choir in this one because the choir worked out so good on the last one. We're going to do more, we're going to record more, uh, also working more lyrically. Like, I've, I've told the story about how I wrote the Kratos theme several times uh, using Greek text. Basically, two words that were the prime motivation for Kratos. Ekthikisi, Litrosi, as the rhythmic motive for, uh, for the theme. Da -da -na -na, da -na -na. Um, doing the same thing this time, the words are longer. Like, the new Kratos theme is pretty much a full-on song in Greek. And, uh, you know, and it, and it follows through. It's almost like a Greek chorus singing it. 
uh, talking about what's going to happen, what what forces are in a raid, both against and with Kratos. It's uh, it's really exciting, actually, uh, uh, the, and everybody's liking it right out of the gate. And it's it's I'm feeling really jazzed about the uh, the new direction too.